In this video, we're looking at ECHA 2020, section 1, question 33. So we have two overlapping circles here, one with centre P and one with centre Q. We know that our circles both have a radius of one centimetre and the distance between our P and Q is one centimetre. And we need to find the area of our overlap, so this section in the middle here. So how can we do this? What do we need to find? So the way I would do this is to notice we can make a uh, segment from our uh, centres here and our arc there. And if we split that down here, we split our overlap in the middle. So if I take this out, this is the bit we can find there. And if we times that by two, we're going to get our full overlap. So our area is going to be our um, overlap is two times our area of our segment here, take away this triangle bit there. So how do we work out the area of our segment? What is the expression for that? Well, it's going to be theta over 360 times pi r squared, with our theta being this angle here and our radius being these uh, sides here. And we know that has to be one because all of our circles have a radius of one centimeter. So that is going to be our r value. But what is our theta? We don't know that yet, but can we work it out? Well, yes, we can. We know this has to be a right angle triangle, so we can use some trigonometry. What other sides can we work out the length of? Well, we know the distance from P to Q is one centimeter, and this line is uh, halving it, so this side here must be a half. So now we can calculate uh, what's gonna be half of theta, and then we can just times it by two. So our theta is gonna be two times the cos of uh, a half over one or just a half. So that's the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse there. So how do we calculate cos uh, of a half? Well, if we don't know that, we can use our trigonometry triangles. So we can see that to get to a half, we're gonna have to do our uh, one over two there. So that's gonna be the cos of 60. So that's two times 60 or 120 degrees is our theta angle there. So now we can plug our numbers into our equation over here. We're going to get 120 over 360 times pi times 1 squared, or 1 third pi. So that is our arc. How do we find our triangle? Well, again, we can use some trigonometry to find the area. So what is the uh, expression for the area of a triangle? So we're going to use half AB sine C. So our C is our theta angle there, and our AB are our sides either side, which we know to be 1. So that's going to be a half times 1 times 1 times sine of 120. So we probably don't know what the sine of 120 is, but we can work it out using a sine graph and our trigonometry triangle. So if we draw a sine graph here, we know that sine 120 is going to be at this point, which is going to be 60 away from our 180 degrees there. So to find the equivalent, we need to do 60 from our point here, which is 0. So we can work out that sine 120 equals sine 60. And from that, we can work out using our uh, table here, that sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So there we go, we've got a half times root 3 over 2, or root 3 over 4. So that is our triangle. So now we know our two areas, we can put them into our equation at the top. So our overlap is 2 times pi over 3, take away uh, root 3 over 4, or 2 pi over 3, take away root 3 over 2. So our final answer is answer D.